Hey everybody, I thought I'd make uh, another uh, Xenoverse 2 uh, guide to parallel quests. Since there was something I overlooked in my other guides where I showed how to clear them, one thing I forgot to mention is that some parallel quests have some rather unusual requirements for receiving the ultimate finishes, so I was going to go over some of the more complex ones for those who might not be sure what you have to do. Greetings. I'll show you what I mean. Most parallel quests are pretty simple. You have to defeat certain enemies in particular... <laughs> in particular things. Like here, you have to defeat Raditz last, and that will uh, do it. And some other ones will have uh, more complex things. Here it's mostly clear in under 5 minutes, clear with an ally's health over 50%. But again, I'll go over some of the ones that are a bit more uh, confusing. So in Simeon Battlefront, your objective is to defeat all the enemies, but what they don't tell you, and I see a lot of people make the mistake of doing, is they uh, don't leave Great Ape Vegeta for last. You have to defeat him after you've beaten everyone else. So we'll start with the Cybermen. We'll stay away from Great Ape Vegeta and let more... Uh, opponents show up. Yeah, don't attack Great Ape Vegeta. If you knock him out right now, you won't get the ultimate finish. So we're just gonna avoid him for now. Wait for Turles to finish talking, and then I'll get a new opponent. I knew that was a ruckus, but this monkey business? Now that Dodori is here, let's fight him. If I can find him, there we go. Absolutely. Nothing? Alright. Yeah, he'll hit you a few times if you're up in the air. Dodge another one of his beams. That's all you've got, Dodori, huh? I think Dodoria and Zarbon are the last ones. Yeah, once they're done, that will take out Great Ape Vegeta. And once he's done, that should trigger the ultimate finish to start. portal over here will open. You can also talk to Yamcha if you need healing. And that triggers the fight with Turles. Let's go after him and just finish off Turles to get the ultimate finish. Nice try. Damn it. That's it today. And that's all it takes. Something I've noticed a lot of people make the mistake of doing is they collect all the Dragon Balls without fighting anybody to clear the mission. But in just about every Dragon Ball mission, including the first Please one, the Mechian Dragon Balls, you're actually supposed to defeat particular enemies. Usually it's all the enemies, but for this one, the only one you have to defeat is Guldo. Man, they're taking a cheap shot at me, interrupting my fighting pose. And I don't have to kill Nabana, but after what he did... You want some too? You don't have to take out these guys, but since they're gonna mess with me anyway, I might as well take them out. And yeah, once you, all your opponents are down, then that's when you gather the Dragon Balls. And this holds true for every Dragon Ball mission. Be sure to defeat every enemy first. Alright, if you want to go, please do your best. something you should not have wanted to do, considering how quickly I beat you. Please find it! It's over for you! Turn. 
Yeah, every uh, ultimate mission part for uh, gather Dragon Ball gatherings will introduce more enemies. Again, defeat all the enemies first, because if you don't, you can miss out on uh, item drops and uh, certain skills and such. There you are. <laughs> Not bad. Take out Raccoon here. This attack was really good. Go find the Dragon Ball and we'll deliver it. Because I believe uh, Birder and Jace will also join once you deliver some of the Dragon Balls. Whoever shot me has just signed their death warrant. Think you can hide there, Rovery? Guess again. The power pull you right in the brain. That'll teach him. There we go, and you'll see when I deliver the Dragon Balls, new enemies show up. This time it's Birder. It seems like you're serious with thinking you can beat me. Oh, I know I can. It's like if you think Frieza was ruthless. Such a high power level out of you. Don't even have to use ultimates, I could crush you with the power pole. That attack was supposed to be nothing! You're serious, right? Do you not know what I just did? Goodbye. You think these guys would know not to bother? Oh, but Lord Frieza will... Lord, what Lord Frieza does to you doesn't even begin to compare to what I'll do to you if you get in my way. In every other Dragon Ball mission, just defeat every enemy before collecting the Dragon Balls. I've done plenty of PQs with randoms who will deliver the Dragon Balls immediately, ending the mission without fighting anyone. And it can be pretty obnoxious if you're trying to get certain uh, skills and items that you can only get through the ultimate finish. Super Saiyan Legend is probably one of the most complex uh, parallel quests in terms of what you have to do to get an ultimate finish. Now the name of the uh, mission itself is actually a hint. It's a reference to a game on the Super Famicom, which was called Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Densetsu, which was which translated to Super Saiyan Legend. So it starts off simple enough. You fight some of Frieza's soldiers, or they run from you while you chase them down and blast them, like Raspberry here is doing. Charge up a bit. Catch him. Give Roberry this combo. Um, not sure why that didn't kill him. <laughs> I think it's some kind of weird thing that happens when new characters appear in with a fight and damage inflicted suddenly will stop. Yeah, sure. Come here, a pool. We'll beat you up. Somehow miss the Kamehameha. Again, I think it was because someone else spawned in. Once you beat nine soldiers, I believe the next uh, part will begin. There we go. Who's next? Ramon over here is next. Gotta go get him. Here I come. I believe all of the uh, soldiers will spawn pretty closer and closer to Frieza's ship, which is where we're going after we beat all of them. You'll see uh, Orlen has spawned really close over to where Frieza's spaceship is. We're gonna go find him and take him out. There he is. Go, and once he's down, the portal to Frieza's ship will open, and then Frieza himself will spawn in. Let me show you the greatest fear the universe has ever known. After he spawns in, just head into Frieza's ship. Now once you're in Frieza's ship, you won't have anyone to fight, but you do need to find uh, Gohan and Krillin. If you talk to Gohan, you can have him heal you. Not that I needed much healing, but the important part is you talk to Krillin. He'll ask if you need his help. Say yes, and Krillin will join you as an ally. 
Now we can get out of Freeze's ship and go fight him. What powerful energy! There, there's no way we can win! Of course! Did you think an ant can defeat a dinosaur? Come here, Frieza. That was close. I thought it was we gotta beat Frieza down until he goes into his final form. How dare you, scum! You this is the first time I have been made such an utter fool of. How dare you! Come on, you go into your final form. Yeah, he talks a bunch, but once he's done, he should go into his final form. Now, he beat on Krillin a bit in his first form, but now I'm going to let him defeat Krillin in his final form. While he does that, I'm going to charge up. Yeah, let Frieza defeat Krillin once he reaches his final form. Come on, Frieza. Once Frieza defeats Krillin, after a moment, uh, Goku should appear as your ally. You how, how dare you! You'll pay for this! You'll pay for this! <laughs> All Saiyans must die! I will defeat you and avenge everyone you mercilessly kill! Now, Goku, there he goes. He's supposed to go Super Saiyan. Now I'm mad! What? No. Stop him from what throwing that this? death ball. Now go ahead and defeat Frieza. He should go into his uh, 100% full power form. Go ahead and beat on Frieza a bit until he goes 100%. Stop talking and go into f full power already. You should know by now. Alright. Now you just have to defeat full power Frieza. Now during the fight, Vegeta will join in as an ally. You need Vegeta to survive the fight, so make sure uh, he doesn't get defeated. I think uh, Frieza goes right for him once he appears. Come on, Vegeta, where are you? There he goes. Now we finish off Frieza. And then this will happen. Kakarot won't come. This is for the Earth. I'll return the favor. I am the ruler of the universe! This is also a reference to Super Saiyan Densetsu, where... If you have Vegeta alive when you defeat Frieza at the end of the game, he transforms into a Super Saiyan and becomes the final boss. So then, just to get the ultimate finish, you just have to defeat Vegeta. And for fun, I went Super Saiyan as well with Parsi. <laughs> Maybe because you're fighting two Super Saiyans instead of just one? <laughs> yeah, that's how you get that one. Here's another one a lot of people I've seen uh, get it wrong, so I'll show off how to do it correctly. I don't uh, blame them, it can be a bit tricky to understand what you're supposed to do. I won't go easy on you. Now this first get fight, you can beat up these guys in any order you want, doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but that's some confidence you have. Now we're talking, this is starting to get interesting. Not done yet. There we go. We can still fight. Next what? stop, we'll go to the pod landing. Now, the pod landing is where most people end up tripping ends. up when it comes to getting the ultimate finish. So you have to actually defeat Vegeta after defeating Trunks, who pops in once you've done enough damage to Vegeta. So we'll do that real quick. There we go. Once he says this, don't attack Vegeta anymore. I'll test my new move on you. 
Wait for Trunks to show up. Get to fight with Father? I'm starting to get nervous here. Now, refocus your attention on Trunks. Take out Trunks first. Trunks! This will convince Vegeta to go Super go Saiyan. For a bit, and you will regret it. Damn it. Take out Vegeta. Super Saiyan supposed to be all my the last fight is against Goku and Gohan. You have to defeat Goku first. Hey! You must be the warrior that Gohan said was going to train with us. Is that right? Yeah, make sure you attack Goku first. That was surprising. Pretty good. Is that it? I can still go for more. Not good. Didn't think I'd be pushed this much. I went through him because of a glitch with golden form that still exists. I can't even break his stamina. Look what happens when I try to. Okay, it make a liar of me. That time it worked. I should have passed through him or gotten locked up. Do my best. Yeah, Gohan powers up like this after you defeat Goku first. Now he can fight him. Strong. Won't lose. Not just yet. <laughs> yeah, this is more of a goofing off a build that I've got, but should be fine. Once you I beat Gohan, he should get up and go villainous mode on ya. I will protect everyone in Dad's place. Yeah. Now you just gotta defeat villainous mode Gohan to get the to get the ultimate finish. Go. And that's all it takes to get the ultimate finish. Remember though, you have to defeat Trunks when he pops in before you beat Vegeta, and then you have to defeat Goku before Gohan. Artificial Warriors I think was a bit more complex in Xenoverse 1, if only because in the first area the Cell Juniors actually come after you in Xenoverse 2, Whereas in Xenoverse 1, they were simply hiding from you. So we'll get a uh, First Form Cell out of the way. Yeah, First Form Cell also wasn't originally a part of this uh, parallel quest, since he wasn't in Xenoverse 1. But yeah, all you have to do is defeat all the Cell Juniors. Try to catch this one. I don't think it matters which order you fight everyone in. So we can probably take out first form cell next. Oh wow, he saved him from me stamina breaking him by shooting key blasts at him. Having fun running away? Yeah, they'll run from you a bit, but be sure to just take them out. There we go. Yeah, defeating first form cell opens the portal. In Xenoverse 1, it was originally started open, but all the cell juniors were just hiding in the area, so you had to seek them out and find them yourself. But yeah, to get the ultimate finish, you just have to defeat all the Cell Juniors. Where's he going? Don't you want to fight? Get back here. I thought you'd be closer. Come here. There we go. Once you've beaten them all, doesn't matter how much time you got left, that's when you can head through the portal. I didn't expect you to get this far. 
You little idiots are going to need to be taught a lesson. Once you beat them, you'll get to fight Cell in his perfect form. But could you do me a favor and try to punch it up? Now then, let's play a little game. Now when all the androids get up to... You do know that I'm not serious at all, right? If you want to run, then run. We're not interested in fighting a coward. What? And since I'm by myself, won't have to worry too much. It can take a while to beat all of them, so I'm going as quick as I can. Considering I played as a future Gohan for this fight for just the the lulls. And we're done. <laughs> This one kind of feels like the artificial warriors from Xenoverse 1 in a way, and I'll show you how. To get the ultimate finish in this mission, you actually have to defeat every Cyberman. Thing is, the game doesn't tell you that you've defeated all the Cybermen. A couple of them actually spawn in after the portal opens. Stop moving around me so I can punch you, Cyberman. A little overkill for him, but that's fine. No, your seconds are numbered. Look, it appears that Krillin is corrupted as well. So we'll fight a couple of these guys and get triple teamed by them because I have escort allies. Hey Yoncha! You gotta get it together, man! If you don't, you'll have to bring you back to your senses with functional justice! Come on! Wow, he flew right through that fire. That's not gonna work. Alright, he's done. Kinda wish he hadn't saved him from my combo, and now he's grabbed me, thank you. Now I gotta worry about two of them at once. Too bad for him, he hit me with an ultimate while I was using my ultimate, so now I have the, uh... Yeah, how will that work for you? What the hell are the two of you doing? You gonna help, or you gonna let them beat on me? Are oh, you gonna save him from my combo? I would have beaten him by now if these two weren't in my way. There we go. Now portal should open, but there should be more Cybermen to fight now. Yeah, you'll see another Cyberman appears. So be sure to defeat all of them. Come here. That got him. Now you'll see the portal over here has another uh, icon. Head back to Capsule Corporation. There they are. You'll see another Cyberman or two will spawn back here. This is what can make getting the ultimate finish here kind of complicated. Because you might not know that there are more Cybermen that come back in this area. Yeah, you keep doing that. Take them both out with Thunder Flash. Now we can head to the final area. And you, Trunks, just because your dad keeps you on a tight leash at home doesn't mean you get to go crazy going outside. Come on! If you don't hold it down, I'll tell your dad you were a bad, bad boy. I know you're at that rebellion stage, Goten, but you're gonna have to simmer down. Well, what would your mom say, Goten? I don't think you'd say anything. There we go. <laughs> it's one down. Oh, he actually targeted me the moment I jumped off the Nimbus. Probably because he knew I was going to try to Thunder Flash him while he wasn't looking at me. And you saved him from my combo. Why should I chase him? 
He'll come to me, provided you don't keep knocking him away from me. Again, their lives don't matter. I've already fulfilled the requirements to getting the ultimate finish. I was wondering why, how he blocked that from behind. It's because he used an evasive. Alright, he's done. There we go, and once you beat them, that'll indicate that you got all the Cybermen. And then the final uh, battle will start with against Boo. Come on. Of course, I got the great Saiyaman helping me by knocking Boo out of my combos. Let's see if I can finish him off with this or if they're going to save him. They saved him by knocking him away when I tried to knock him to the ground. So I missed with Thunder Flash. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Well then get out of my way and let me take him out. Here, allow me to stop him. Now if you don't touch him, this will finish him off. <laughs> no matter where evil's dark flame smolders, we will rise to stamp it out. Took longer to take him out because of you. Eat this. <laughs> anyway, that's how you do it. Now the Cell Games Continued can also be kind of complicated. I've seen a lot of people mess this one up without realizing why, and I don't blame them again. It can be kind of tricky if you don't know what you're supposed to actually do. This one basically works same as the uh, Cell Games Begins mission, but with some different opponents to fight. So you'll see here, I'm fighting uh, the, the Ginyu Force first. Doesn't matter which order you defeat them in, so we'll beat them up quick. Go. <laughs> I, like I think the next fight is just the rest of the Ginyu Force. Yep. If you call Once again, it doesn't matter who I beat and what order here. Ginyu Force! Special triple attack! Okay, guys! Are you ready? Yeah! The finishing move will be more crushable! I love how I could hear him just guarding the barrier the whole time back behind me. Nice game. I tried to turn around, it didn't let me. Super Soul is activated, so I do no more uh, normal damage. Are you running? The fastest to run away from fights in the universe. I let my guard down too often. There, you're done. I'm the fastest in the universe. How, how could I lose? There we go. I've already beat you. You're gonna destroy the scenery. Be nice to nature. All right, so we'll take out the androids real quick. My clothes got dirty. Thought it was just the Ginyu Force, and then the fight where you have to beat them in the correct uh, order. But, nope, first it's the androids. You can take them out in any order you want. Reserves to I wouldn't push it. You're an old model after all. Now it's my turn. Well, no, now you're done. What a surprise. I didn't expect you to get this far. I'll join in on the fight. All right, here's the uh, important part. Now, in the original version of this fight, it was uh, Teen Gohan along with uh, Goku and Piccolo. You had to defeat Goku and Piccolo first. The same holds for this fight. You have to leave Gohan for last. So defeat Videl and Piccolo first. I can still fight. Uh, is this it? But I don't want to give up. Bad idea, Piccolo. Refuse to. Please stop, Fidel. I'll take it from here. I've got this. There we go. After beating Fidel and Piccolo, Me? the fight will end, and Gohan will. He should use a potential unleashed here. There we go. 
in the uh, Cell Games Begins, you're fighting Teen Gohan here. I'm just gonna go ahead and now this part's actually trickier because Cell's a lot weaker in this fight than he was in the other one. So you have to keep him alive when you fight uh, Adult Gohan. So we gotta beat Go Adult Gohan and try to make sure he focuses on us and not on Cell. There we go, will this win me the fight? This isn't close to over yet. Well, looks pretty close to me. You're done. Right. Not bad, I suppose. And that's how you do it. Again, if he defeats Cell, that counts as uh, failing the mission. Even though you'll still succeed, you won't get the ultimate finish. Frieza's Nightmare Returns is going to be a pretty complicated one. I've actually brought the Supreme Kai of Time and Trunks to serve as additional meat shields. Since you have to keep Frieza from being defeated, but there's also a requirement when it comes to defeating Vegito and Gotenks. And I'll show off that. You have to defeat Gotenks before Vegito, but of course first, you have to get past Majin Buu and Super Buu. And what I want is to take out Majin Buu so he can't poison Frieza with Innocent's bullet. If that happens, I say just retry, because Frieza will not have enough health to survive the battle if he gets poisoned. I'm okay with you turning Frieza into candy. He can't be harmed while he's a candy ball. So finish off Majin Buu. I don't think there's any small boos in this mission. I could be wrong. Maybe they appear after Kid Boo does. You gonna finish him off? You want me to do it? Oh, you want to help him by making him invulnerable by letting him grab ya. Alright, who's next? I think some small boos come with Kid Boo. Go for the small boos first. Again, they have Innocent's bullet and you don't want Frieza to get poisoned. That's fine if you both want to target me. You know, Trunks, instead of getting in my way, how about you help Frieza? Stop him from throwing that. There we go. Never mind. I don't know how he got that off, and I definitely broke his stamina before he fired. That's fine. Now he's done. You'll see Frieza still has plenty of health left, about a 75 or 80 percent health, and he hasn't been poisoned. Now for this fight, you have to defeat Gotenks first. So go for Gotenks. In Super Saiyan Legend, which is similar to this fight, but with easier opponents based on the, uh, the Namek Saga, you have to defeat Krillin first to trigger Goku's Super Saiyan transformation. I should be able to defeat Gotenks before my allies defeat Vegito. There we go, especially if I throw Super Destructo Discs. No, you don't. Now, keeping Frieza alive can be hard by yourself. That's why I brought uh, additional characters to aid me. I defeated Gotenks. It should have already triggered the uh, ultimate finish. Maybe I gotta defeat uh, Vegito first. Come on, Vegito. Stop attacking Frieza. You just pushed him away! I got hit by the final flash when I was trying to save you! I don't expect Frieza to cooperate with you either. He's trying to get killed! Now here's where you'll really need those uh, other allies to help you. Because now you gotta fight Super Saiyan Vegito and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And you have to beat them without Frieza dying. And, surprise, surprise, they'll go right for Frieza. Okay, let's see you get to Frieza now. Dorks. Over. 
Yeah, when they're not looking at you, go for a stamina break with a heavy smash. They won't avoid it unless Freeze is too close. A nice camera angle. Can we get out of the water? Thank you. Big surprise, Frieza got hit by that. Just keep Go Tanks off Vegito until off of Frieza until I beat Vegito. Preferably instead of helping me. And that combo failed. Now I have to stop them because Go Tanks is gonna kill Frieza. And my teammates are not helping at all! Shut up, you're the one causing me to lose. I need you to get, I need you to protect Frieza and you're not. I need somebody to pick up Vegito and stop him from attacking Frieza. Good, the Supreme Kai of Time is fighting Vegito instead of Frieza. That's what you need to have happen because, again, you can still fail this fight. You just did by losing to Vegito in Frieza's place. Now I can finish him off and win the fight. And that's how you do that one. And again, as you saw, I just barely pulled that one off. This is probably one of the harder parallel quests outside of the DLC missions, if only because you have to babysit Frieza like nothing else. Here's another PQ I've seen people do incorrectly, is Appetite for Destruction. In this one, you actually have to defeat uh, Whis first before fighting Beerus. So go for Whis. I don't know how he caught me when I... get away. You must be strong. Are you? Well, you want to challenge me. I'm trying to challenge Whis, who's running away from me. But yeah, don't fight Beerus first. You have to defeat Whis first. Doesn't matter how much he runs or how much Beerus attacks me instead. Here, let's see if becoming a Super Saiyan God gets his attention. Yeah, you keep running. That's Beerus, who I don't want to fight. Get off of me! Go away for a minute! See, even if you don't attack Whis first, if you do enough damage to Beerus, Whis will rewind time and we you will lose all that damage you did anyway. Of course. Oh, well, thanks for breaking his stamina now, Goku. And you can see this can get kind of annoying, especially when Beerus won't leave you alone. Go away! I have to take out Whis first. And then you're not making it easy with him incessantly dodging all my attacks while you're constantly chasing me. Not this time. Here, try to stop me from doing this. There we go. Alright, I got Whis. Now I can take you out, Beerus. That's fine. Doesn't matter if he beats Super Saiyan God Goku, by the way. No, it don't matter. Him staying alive is not a factor. You just have to beat Be Whis first. Bad idea. Now we're gonna break your stamina. And then he's gonna steal you, so I can't do my combo. Hit him with one of these. And then realize I forgot to activate my Super Soul. Keep him busy for a moment. Of course he went for that. Not that he's gonna hit anybody with it. 
There we go. Hitting with those will make my uh, basic strikes and key blasts hit harder. I didn't hit with that, that's fine. I'll hit with this. And he's done. <laughs> that's how you get the ultimate finish on this one. You have to defeat uh, Whis first, then Beerus. Frieza's Siege Against the er Earth is one I've seen a lot of people mess up on, although it is really easy to mess this one up, especially if you bring AI partners with you. So it's actually better to solo this one. What you have to do is you have to defeat all the Frieza soldiers that appear, and you have to do this without fighting Frieza. Frieza will take the occasional cheap shot at you, usually after you get a KO. But do not attack him, and try to avoid using attacks like uh, Innocent's Breath and such that could potentially hit Frieza and do damage to him. Because if he takes too much, the soldiers will leave, and then he'll change into Golden Frieza, and you'll miss out on the ultimate finish. I'm just going to let you hit me with that, that's fine. So yeah, focus down the Frieza soldiers, and try to avoid hitting Frieza. Come here, you annoyance. Goodbye. Robbery, you're next. Interesting that our attacks just flew right through each other. That doesn't combo, good to know. Nope, you missed. There, you won't escape this combo. He's done. Get Naval here next. I think after the ball dash, I can... Yep. I can use the vanishing ball. One thing you could do if you want is crowd control Frieza. I have a candy beam equipped on this build. So if you can hit Frieza with it, it'll turn him into candy and he'll be invincible and he can't attack anyone. That can help out in a mission like this. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Come here. Nice one, game. C gotta love when they put you in an awkward g angle where you can't hit them with your full combo. Could you not? Wow, he was just dodging the hell out of Candy Beam. Normally he doesn't do that, I swear. Now what a pool. Frieza got in front of that, but thankfully I think he just guarded one of the, uh, the super black Kamehameha Rosés. Yeah, whatever, Apul, you're nothing. You can't even handle a bottle of raspberry schnapps, let alone sugar. Eat it. <laughs> well, thank you for just guarding that for raspberry there, Frieza. At least he didn't take the damage himself. I have no need for weaklings among my ranks. Okay, my combo just dropped for no reason. I don't think there's too many soldiers left, though. Back here, where you going? Yeah, keep doing that. Okay. Now you want to escape this. I think Goupre was the last one. No more soldiers, so now we'll take out Frieza. Of course he did that when I went for the Vanishing Ball Infinite. Behold, the ultimate 
That's when he says that, that's when he's taking enough damage to go into golden form. And if there are any soldiers left when that happens, then you'll have failed to get the ultimate finish. Really, Golden Frieza? Really? You're just as bad as the people I run into in the raids. Luckily, I can punish you for being dumb. Do it myself by killing you. <laughs> You could defeat me anyway. I don't know what happened right as soon as I broke your stamina when you fired Emperor's Death Beam as your very first move says otherwise. Again, it doesn't matter who you kill, you just have to beat all the enemies. So we'll start with Golden Frieza. I'm gonna use a capsule while you're wasting time with your evasive. Really? I just guarded one of them. I would have just guarded the whole thing after that. And of course he teleported, that's fine. Oh look, but he has no key to fire it again. And if he takes the time to charge his key to fire it again, he, <laughs> my stamina will recovered by then. So yeah, Emperor's Death Beam isn't even that good when the CPUs use it. Here you go, Frieza. I got something for you. He's done. Now we just gotta take on his villainous soldiers. You know, if they don't run away from me. Like cowards. Nice try, Raspberry. Come here. Wanna bet? Take off the baked sphere. And you're done. Yeah, they sure are insistent on getting baked sphere. Too bad, despite being a villainous mode character exclusive move, it's kind of crappy. It's probably one of the crappiest ultimates in the game. You can't even equip it to your custom characters. Yeah, look how well that worked out for you. But yeah, you have to defeat every soldier, and then let him transform, then beat Golden Frieza to get that uh, ultimate finish. Yeah, Small But Strong also has another uh, don't defeat this character yet requirement. In this case, the character you have to leave alive is Pan. So what you gotta do is you focus down uh, GT Goku and GT Trunks and leave Pan alone. Because if Pan goes down before they do, you'll lose the ultimate finish. I'm trying to use Divinity Unleashed, there we go. Come here. Now once he's down to his last health bar, Goku should go Super Saiyan. Alright, come here. What just happened? What just happened? Stop this! Now what you gonna do? I'll tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna get blasted into the sun. And then I'm gonna get cheap shotted by trunks while I wasn't able to move. That's fine, keep comboing me. I'll just use a capsule. Here, let's see if you know how to escape. That's right, because I just finished you off. Now we wait for uh, Goku and Trunks to get up. They'll transform again. At this point, you can finish off Pan. Just wait out this little scene here. This is my ultimate power. Like, yeah, once this happens, you don't need Pan anymore, so you can get rid of her. What you're gonna do now? That's fine. Come here. 
Now run this. There we go. Now here I come. Of course he did. Not this time. Keep trying it. Nice try, let me show you how that's done. Wrong move, that's fine. Once again, I've... I was gonna use a capsule, I don't need you to show up. Now he's gonna make things harder on me. Well, he can't really, since I already beat Pan and met the requirements. He's just gonna get in my way during this fight. I'll go at full power. It's wonderful. I think he's making Okay. Not sure how I missed. Stop it. It's not for me. Somehow I didn't hit him. Yeah, I got a surprise for you once this scene ends. That surprise being Weiss is going to interrupt my ultimate. No, ass! I didn't think Super Saiyan 4 would work at all. He done spamming Final Shine at me. Thanks for interrupting my combo. You're done. There we go. Aside from Whis interfering when I didn't need his help, I pulled that off pretty easily. But yeah, you just have to defeat Pan be after you beat Goku and Trunks. That way, after they transform, then you get the ultimate finish. The next one is a DLC PQ called Downfall of the Ultimate Saiyan. This one actually requires you to do something a little differently from the other missions, and I'll show off what that is. You'll see that uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is here, but he won't be around for very long. Not that I need his help. For this fight, you need to focus down on Super Baby 2. Go ahead, throw that. Now for this fight, you need to focus down on Super Baby 2. He does this every time his health drops to about 50%. You'll see his health went up. If I target a uh, Pan and Trunks, you'll see they have a bunch of health, but they've taken damage even though I haven't attacked them. This is because Baby takes their health to heal himself. You need him to do this three times. You see he's doing it again. Because if you knock them out prior to this, you won't get the ultimate finish. He's healed uh, twice now. You don't seem to know your place. Allow me to show you. will see he says this on the third time. You'll mention the Blutz Wave Generator, which is your clue that he's healed enough times. Give me more power! You can try to harm me all you want, but your effort 
You'll see now that he's uh, healed three times, I can take out the uh, the other opponents, which are Pan and GT Trunks. You won't go for my present, even though it would heal you. Here, let's see if your vanishing saves you from this. Oh, look at that. No, it didn't. That'll teach you. Uh-huh. Well, I got that won't work on me, so it doesn't matter. Look how little damage that did. Ha! Here, input, read this. You're next, Trunks. No. Nope. Yeah, these guys like to input read you like crazy, so watch out for them. So he's not moving to attack, he's waiting for me to make the move. Then he'll just guard what I'm going to do, or he'll grab me or do something crazy. As you see, I turned it around on him. Alright, so we'll beat up Trunks. Hit him with another pretty cannon. I missed with that one. Alright, now that they're done... Aw, oh, what happened, baby? Did you miss? And mess that up. That's fine. Go ahead. He doesn't have enough the energy to use Revenge Death Ball. Won't save you now. And that should activate the ultimate finish. Yeah, you have three opponents to fight here. It's the same three you fought before, only now Baby's a great ape. Just waiting for Trunks and Pan to get up so I can defeat them first. Wrong item. Come on, get near the present. Ah, oh, I didn't hit him. And she stopped me from finishing that with a pretty cannon with her evasive. That's fine, baby. You won't be able to hit me from d down there. Come here. Use a capsule real quick. Yeah, I got that move too. Somehow that hit me even though I was behind you. That's fine. Oh, you missed. <laughs> Alright, where's Trunks? Yeah, you keep your rampaging down there. It's helping you so much right now. I don't know what happened there. How'd you get knocked away from it? Did Baby save you? 
didn't even know he could hit you. How are you gonna get out of this, though? That's how, by having the boss interrupt my combo. That got him. Just for kicks, I'm gonna throw another one. How'd that work out for ya? Just using a capsule, that's fine. Do you mind? I'm almost done! Are you kidding me? How did he... Whatever. Take this. Or not! You are really starting to upset me. You're gonna be the... You're gonna be fun to kill once they're gone. You missed. Get your big monkey ass out of my way! Missed again, don't know how. If you don't mind, fly up here! I, t I swear it's never this annoying! And he couldn't let me use the capsule. Anything to get Whis to interfere, right? Here, break my stamina through this. Oh, I broke the ape's stamina. Take this. There, now you're done. And so are you. Yeah, I got your fool right here. Keep jumping around. How'd that feel? You're lucky I don't have a dual Masenko on this build. But this will work almost as good. Go ahead, I'm gonna finish you off with this. 90 night. Alright, that one got pretty annoying because of the uh, constant getting knocked around trying to fight him, but I got, still got the ultimate finish. And that should cover all of the more uh, complex requirements for completing ultimate quests. Usually, you know, ones where you have to defeat certain enemies in a certain order, or like in the case of that uh, one example I showed off, you have to do something really obscure that you don't do in any other parallel quest. So hopefully this helps you out in case there were a few uh, ultimate finishes that were eluding you. And thank you again for watching, and I'll see you for my next video.